Well, you guys want to ride or what? I'm listening. My daddy says you're a drifter. He says Mr. Sandy should never have hired you. How come Mr. Sanders ain't around no more? Well, because me and Mike work his farm now. How'd you get the job? Boy, you ask a lot of questions. We just drifted in the right place at the right time. Same as Mike. Oh. Randy, get in the house and help your mama. Son, go on there and help your stepbrother. your cigarette. I've got some news for you. Hey, my folks called this morning. My father got that cashier's job at 7-Eleven. Well, all right. <laughs> That's a hell of a change from farming, huh? Oh, he's thrilled. Well, he's been out of work since they got to Chicago. The best part is it'll keep his mind off the foreclosure. It says he met more people his first day on the job than he's met in his entire life. You ever think about going back home? Yeah. <laughs> All the time. It ain't been easy for my folks. No. No, not Chicago. Iowa. Iowa? That ain't my home no more. Ain't nothing but a big corporate farm. 
What the hell are you burning? Surprise. In the trash <laughs> barrel? I can't ever tell where a surprise might come from. I'm taking off for L.A. As soon as I can save a few hundred bucks. Hell, you keep flaunting your money like a rich man. You're never going to leave this farm. And the owner here is a mean bastard. I'll bet Sanders ain't as bad as his neighbor. Who, Aunt Nellie? Why, what's wrong? That man has got something against me. He ain't got... Look, I know... I know when someone has got something against me. What's he up to? Sanders hired him to spray the field. gonna give up his new career for this. Besides, they always wanted to come out to California. Because if you want a farm, you gotta go where there's land, right? Well, back there, farming ain't farming no more. It's big business. And the little guy gets wiped out, like we did. 
So I figured I'd get us some land out here instead. Ow! Oh! What the hell did you do that for? I scared you. You damn near punctured me is what you did. Hey, Gary. Hey, Dan. My daddy said I could help you. Good. Then keep out of the way. All right, Gary, that's one. <sighs> Bet you're gonna be done by noon. You probably don't got no sickle for me. Job wasn't so bad now, was it? What the hell did you do that for? <laughs> you saw him aiming at the bottle? Well, I didn't think he'd hit it. Good shot, Gary. <laughs> Shut up, Dan. Gary, put that rock down! What happened to your neck? A fold. You fell. I fell. Come on, Dan, let's get to work. Hey. Hey, it's not your fault. You shouldn't be ashamed. If your daddy starts hitting you again. Hey, Gary! But... Get the hell up here! Get over here! Get over here! Starting to look like a farm boy. <laughs> Trapper, why don't you give me five regulars? Well, how you doing? <laughs> Fred said he heard some gunshots coming from up your way. You guys trying to get that deer? No, nah, my kunks and blood meal up on the fence. They don't get in the orchard no more. Blood meal? I'd have shot him. Trapper, you couldn't shoot a deer if it walked in and sat down and ordered itself a drink. That shotgun is seeing its day. Broken up many fights in here. Dan, have a drink on Carl. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. Come shoot that deer. <laughs> sure you will. All Dan's got to do is ask your wife if you can stay out after nine. <laughs> don't take it hard, Billy. Rick's just teasing you because his wife don't want him coming home at night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Side. I don't think he's got another side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
bring us another round. Hey, Gary! Don't listen to your stepmama. Open the door for your daddy, Gary. Open the goddamn door! boy, Gary. You're my boy. Open the doors, son. Let your old man in. Let your daddy in, son.
Randy? Get up. Come on, Randy. Stop playing. Wake up. Hey, Gary. Gary, I'm going to go on over and finish Sanders' field. You want to come help me? Don't listen to what your stepmom has been saying. She's just upset. Come on, son. The funeral's tomorrow. We gotta put this thing behind us. 
I didn't do it. It was an accident, that's all. But I didn't do it. Come on, let's get in the truck. Now, this is a small town. And you've got to live with people like Anna and Ellie. You're an outsider. Don't start making enemies with him. Yeah, I'm not planning on living in this town. Fine. My contract says I've got to work here another two months. And I just assume not have any problems. No problems, okay? Yeah, I'm easy. Maybe it'd make more sense for you to keep working while I'm still here. That way you wouldn't be strapped when you go down to L.A. Look, I've always gotten by one way or another. You wander around like you're lost. I just don't want to be a farmhand forever. I ain't talking about being a farmhand. I'm talking about belonging. But you know what land costs. You're kidding yourself. You think you're ever going to own a farm. I'm just saying that this farm isn't any more my home than L.A. could be. Just forget it. You don't even know what I'm talking about. Just pick up the tools. What's your problem? You can be a real asshole, Dan. Can I ride with you? Nope. Why not? Because you're going to stay in a truck. Can I go help Mike and Dad? I don't want to catch you around those two now. You hear me? It's true what you said about buying a farm. Yeah, well, I shouldn't have been mean about it. Did I tell you I was thinking of going down to Los Angeles myself once? No. When you mentioned the other day that you were thinking about going down there, it just got me thinking again. Never lived in a city before. Well, it's different than a place like here. Maybe we should think about going together. That's possible. I might have to meet you there or something. Or I could stay, help you finish up your work here. Maybe we could travel a little bit first. You know, see the coast and all? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Gary. Hey, how you doing, little man? Hey, Gary. Did your daddy say you could come here? Yeah. You here to pick? Tell him he's too little. I am not. I can pick faster than you. Cannot. Can too. What you been crying about? I ain't been crying. Stop lying, cry baby. I ain't lying. Hey, Gary. You want to go swimming? I don't got no bathing suit. Well, it doesn't matter because no one's going to see us. We still got to finish cleaning the road today. No problem. Now, with Gary helping, we're going to get it done in next to no time. Come on, I'll race you. Thank you. 
How come your brother doesn't come to work with you and your daddy? Because he and daddy don't never get along. Why not? Because. Because why? Because he don't like it when daddy gets mad. Why does he always hit you? You just have to get him mad. I guess. What do you say we go upstream? I'm going to go fishing this afternoon. I'll go get my pole. You don't got a pole. Yeah, I do. Because I got all the Randy stuff. That's just a plain old pocket knife. It's Randy's. Then you stole it. I did not. It's mine. Pah. It is, too. Because Randy got killed. Liar. What do you mean? It was a rifle accident. Yesterday. Who shot him? Nobody. It was an accident. My stepmama don't have no right saying it was my fault. It wasn't even there. It wasn't your fault. My daddy don't believe me either. He just got mad at me and told me to shut up. Then he started yelling because he said I shouldn't talk about it. But I didn't do it. Get your hands off my boy! Gary, get up here! Dan, let go of him. Gary, right now! This ain't your place to interfere, Dan. Let go of him. Don't tell my daddy nothing what I said. Get your clothes on, Gary, and get up here! Right now! What those boys do to you, Gary? They didn't do nothing. Don't lie to me. I've seen it from up here. Forget about the kid. Don't tell me who the hell to think about. I mean, you don't even know what Gary's going through, do you? I mean, all you see are just marks on his skin. His brother didn't kill himself because of that. But you don't even think about the marks he's got in the inside, do you? Of course I do. No. All you see is just some, some dumb kid who wants to hang around getting your goddamn way. It's not why he's around. You know what it's like to get hit every day and have to make up stories about where those scars came from, huh? You don't get over it. You, you carry your own goddamn life. Last time I saw my dad, he had his goddamn hands around my neck and he kept choking me, pounding my head in the ground and blaming me for making my mother leave. I'm gonna kill you, he kept saying. It's your fault. I'm sorry. He don't even know what he's being hit for. <laughs> okay. 
I guess sitting here crying ain't gonna help, huh? Sure it helps. <laughs> What do you say we get cleaned up and go out? Your wife's folks gonna make it to the funeral, Jim? It's too long a drive. I don't think so. They're faggots, your friends. They're a couple of goddamn faggots. I come across them when I was looking for my boy this afternoon. Well, what'd you see? Jim, tell them about what they done to Gary. Well, they tried to get Gary to go with them, all right. They told Gary if he didn't go with them, they'd beat him up. Well, maybe it wasn't what you thought. He told you. He seen it with his own two eyes. Hell, we've all known Dan and Mike ever since they got here. What are you getting at, Billy? Nothing. Just... You standing up for them after what they tried doing to Gary? You knew all along about them two, didn't you, Billy? I... I didn't know nothing about it. Of about them two, I mean. Except... Except what? What are you so nervous about, Billy? You mean that they're faggots? You see, Jim, I told you he knew about them. Leave the guy alone. <clears throat> well, sounds like your friends come to pay their dues. What's going on, Frank? I don't want no part in your, uh, problem. What problem? Billy? What's happening? I don't know. I don't got no problems with you, Aunt Nellie. To hell you don't. Now look, if we all gotta work something out, we can just... Ain't nothing to work out. Just something to settle. Diane, let's get going. We just caught you. You ain't going nowhere. Sit. us for what, damn it? For what you tried to do to Gary. Sober up. Where are you going? Don't try and lie about it. Even Billy said you two was queers. That ain't... That ain't what... That ain't... We said don't lie about it, faggot. I've seen it with my own eyes. 
You're lying, Aunt Nellie. Only thing you seen all day was the bottom of a goddamn whiskey bottle. The next shot ain't a blank. And I ain't about to put no holes in my ceiling. You got a dispute to settle? Do it somewhere else. You okay, buddy? Come on. If I ever see either one of you again, I'll kill you. You hear me? I'll kill you. How's the cut? Stop bleeding. We keep holding it there. We'll keep the swelling down. Feels like it's gonna rain, huh? Be good for the trees. They're getting too much dust on the leaves. That's what happened on the folks' farm. It didn't rain. I can't predict that, Bill. I mean, you can't tell if there's gonna be a drought or not. Hey, give me a dragon. Just light your own. whole thing will blow over. It's just a misunderstanding, that's all. Right. Well, who in the goddamn hell told Billy to turn on us, huh? Frank. Who told Frank just to sit there and watch? Come on. We'll straighten it out. We've only got another couple of months here, and then we... Oh, is that the way you see it, huh? We just go back tomorrow, we explain to everyone that it was just a goddamn mistake, that we're all still friends. Come on, it was a misunderstanding. We gotta clear it up, right? The hell we do. What else are we gonna do? Hide out here like a couple of scared animals? Come on, Dan. You just... You just keep your hands off of me. Here's a present I made for you. Clay's from the mountain. I came for my check. <laughs> Your check? My paycheck. Taken off. Well, why? There's a lot we gotta do still. We can't just leave. I'm going alone.
Dan, you can't just leave. Just take off. It was lies, Dan. It was all lies. Just lies. And why are you running away from this town? Just get me my goddamn paycheck. It ain't our fault, Dan. Can't you believe in nothing? Dan? I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. As one whom his mother comforteth, so will I comfort you, and ye shall be comforted. And to the mercy of Almighty God, we commit our dearly departed to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in the sure and certain hope of eternal resurrection.